Well, Safe Out to School comes out of the fact that in 1969, almost half the children in America walked or biked to school. Half. Right now, it's about 9%. There's no great surprise that this dramatic drop in the number of kids who walk or bike to school has also been um, linked to a more sedentary lifestyle, obesity, poor health, things along those lines. Because we built our schools, the roads around our schools, many of which took place after, the, after World War II, um, to drive to school. It was not based on the idea of getting kids to, to, to walk or bike to, to walk or bike to school. It's no surprise that when a focus group was gathered by the National Center for Safe Routes to School, that parents were asked, why do you like to have your child, or would you like to have your child walk or bike to school? Social connections was, was one of them, fun, outright fun. You get to meet your friends, you get to meet other people, you get to see the world around you. That's a very engaging and enlivening uh, ac action. And consequently, the initial studies show that children who do walk or bike to school are better prepared at school. They've got the wiggles out. A number of schools, in order to build on that, have even developed programs where the kids come to the school, if they're dropped off, and they walk around the yard for a while. Kind of gets, for those tired ones, it wakes them up. For the ones who are, who are kind of crazy, it, uh, it uh, spins them down. Sac City Unified School District has been all about uh, linked learning and uh, this, this whole 21st century notion that learning doesn't just take place in a classroom. Most of our kids on either side of our school um, there are bus stops for, for the regional transit here in Sacramento. Most of our kids take that. If you take us off the grid, if it takes two hours to get to your internship, you know, three or four hours round trip, you can see where there would be issues. We, as investors, are allowed to go to um, internships around downtown and um, we're allowed to take classes over at Sac City College. Essentially, the idea behind it is to give students a garage and a workspace so that they may fix up and ride their bikes around. Uh, you know, kids need a place to feel safe about uh, about working on their bikes, you know. We wanted to give kids like a, a safe zone. We have a bicycle collective. We want to have sort of like they have um, on, on I, I Street, the bicycle, their bicycle kitchen. And so again, our interns, Jeremy and, and Braden and some other kids said, you know, spoke with those guys that, that have the bicycle kitchen and, and um, they received a, a, a small but mighty grant that allotted for some um, materials and some, some tools and things like that. They work with someone such as yourself that acts as a mentor that is an expert in his or her field. Um, in this case we spoke with uh, Paloma who's a, a senior here, worked with several folks from uh, the, the county uh, and from the city and from the district to say we've got this plot of land we want to do this with us we, you know we, with it um, what do we do and so they came out and they worked with Paloma and they developed a budget and they developed a time frame and so um, the garden plans have been drawn up and it's just only a matter of time before it, it, it begins to take root. And it was a bond that was written in in 2008 or I'm sorry 2006 uh, that was applied for and, and it was passed um, and so um, we again were able to uh, almost double or, or a little more than double our money it was initially it was three million and then towards you know with all of those things that I mentioned combined it's about seven million bucks and our superintendent Jonathan Raymond being uh, a forward-thinking uh, person and because of uh, I, I think I would like to think of myself as a, a slightly forward-thinking guy um, folks got together and said, look, there, there are possibilities to make this a green school. There are possibilities that we could apply for being LEED and or um, CHIP certified. But there are certain things that you have to do. You actually have to, to be green and you actually have to strive for you know, one of those levels. And so